As you guys have seen, Adeline today is two months old. And I've been a mom for two months. It doesn't feel like it's been that long, so I don't really know. But at the same time, I do feel like I've learned a lot. I mean, about her, yeah, but more about myself. I feel like she's really shown me who she needs me to be. And it's not so much about my life anymore and about who I want to be and what I want to do and the things that I have fun doing. I mean, I still have fun. I still have my days where I kind of have a good time. I don't know. But it's not about that anymore. It's about her and it's about what's good for her and the example that I will set for her future. Because even though she's a baby and she doesn't see anything or notice anything, I want her to always know that I always did my best. No matter how I was feeling throughout the day, no matter how tired I was or anything like that. No, I want her to know that I always was there for her. I want her to know that I helped her throughout every day that any time she was sad or felt upset about anything that I was there. And no matter what age she is, when she gets older and as she gets older, it's so crazy that she's getting old. I. I don't even know where to begin. <laughs> I was 19 when I got pregnant and it's hard. It was hard and it is hard. It's that everybody says like, well, you're a teenager and you don't know how to do it and you're not gonna know how to do it. So everybody kind of piles down how you should parent and the things that you should do and well, you should do this and you should do that. But I'm growing and I am learning and I'm getting older every day with her as she's getting older. and. You learn new things about yourself and about your children every day that you go. And she does something new every day and she surprises me every day. And one day she could have an amazing day and be just a great baby. And then some days she has fussy days where I can't do anything to calm her down. And I can just hold her while she cries and has those times. But I... I honestly, I don't know, I learn with her and I grow with her and I don't know what life would be without her and I don't want to know what life would be like without her and I was scared when I got pregnant. I had a million emotions going through my mind like, am I going to be able to do this and I, am I strong enough to do this? Am I going to be able to carry her because I'm so small, I'm scared that I might not make it through this pregnancy. I'm scared that she might not make it through this pregnancy. I had a million thoughts and thoughts about me and Will and our, is our relationship gonna last? Is our relationship gonna be able to go through this and come out through this? And I couldn't have surprised myself more, really. I just think about that all the time is that every single day I'm not only, she's not only surprising me, but I'm surprising me and I'm growing and I, I see it and I'm proud of myself, I really am. I don't know, you guys don't know me <laughs> very well or anything like that, but I was a young girl and I, I still am a young girl, but I loved being young. I loved hanging out with my friends. I loved being with my boyfriend and doing the things that I wanted to do when I wanted to do them. So I was scared that I wasn't going to be able to do that for her and be able to be this woman for her. And I, I'm not, I'm telling you guys, I've surprised myself, <laughs> really. I, I sit here and I just think about it and I'm like, I am a mom and I am her mom. And no matter what days I feel like I'm drowning and everything and I feel like I can't do it anymore I just look at her and I'm like this is what you do it for and as much as it's draining and you feel so tired throughout the day and long nights with her sometimes and then fussy days with her sometimes it's still every day is rewarding with her because she's just happy she wakes up in the morning and the first thing she does is she just looks at me and she's stretching and she smells good and <laughs> I'm changing her diaper and then she's finally awake awake and she just looks at me and she's been smiling and it's just this huge smile. It's not just like a little grin, it's a huge gum smile and it's like, I make you happy. <laughs> it makes me so happy to see that I can do that for her and that she relies on me. It, it scares me, it really does. And it scares it scared me when I was thinking 
when I first got pregnant, I was like, I, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know, I don't know how to do it. And some days I go through that and I feel like every mom, no matter what age you are, anything, you'll have those days where you just sit there and you're like, I have no idea what I'm doing. I don't know what to do for you. I don't know how to make it better when they're upset and you feel like they're not suitable. But just being their mom and just being there and holding them sometimes is all that they want. It's all that will make them happy. I know you might tell me I'm crazy and that <laughs> I don't need to hold her as much and I don't, I need to let her cry more often. And I do, I, I let her cry, I promise you, she cries. <laughs> but I just, I want to soak up as much of this as I can and as much of the moment as I can. She's only this little for so long and this time going by so fast and seeing her grow up so fast is like, mind-blowing i look at her daily and i'm like some days i'm like oh you're still so little and then some days i look at her and i'm like oh my gosh i just remember when i just had you and her legs and she didn't have any butt cheeks on her butt and her belly was so little and i don't know her head was so much smaller everything and she's just grown and i can see her blossom and grow into this beautiful girl and a beautiful woman that she'll be one day and I never want to let her down. I don't want to ever feel like I miss out on anything. I mean, I feel like I didn't really even have time to process that I was a mom and that I have this baby that relies on me 24-7. <laughs> like, I didn't have time to like process it in my head and then she was already a month old. And I feel like that was just a week ago. Like, I don't feel like it's been any time passed since then. I don't want to blink because I don't want to miss a single second of anything new that she does every day she rolls over and she smiles and i know that's not much and she's starting to make sounds and like hear her sounds and like wonder like she'll make a sound and then she'll look and she'll be like was that me like <laughs> confused and she'll be in the bath and she like slaps the water like I, she's not knowing that she does it she just does it she i don't know she's the most amazing thing I've ever seen in my life <laughs> and it's hard for me sometimes to really think like oh my gosh I made you <laughs> and you were with me for so long and when I look at myself now I'm so little and it's like I don't I don't see how my body created you and you were in there for so long and I got huge but I mean as women we're so strong and we don't see it we don't give ourselves the pat on the back that we deserve we kind of overlook it a lot just because we feel like that's what we're supposed to do and that's what we're made for and it is it is it really is she brings the joy and the happiness to me when I whenever I'm having just a hard day I mean it might not even be anything that kind of triggers a hard day it's just sometimes you wake up and you're like oh, just want to stay in bed and when I was sick it was it was hard for me for a little while I wasn't feeling good at all and I'd have to wake up in the middle of the night with her which is normal it's the normal mom thing to do but when you're not feeling good it's like oh, my throat was hurting so bad you guys I couldn't swallow I was dying <laughs> what I felt like for a weekend and just look at her and it was like you know what it doesn't matter how you feel another thing being said is um, I've seen a lot of stuff on Facebook about mom hate and um, I see it I do I've, I'm on Facebook all the time and on Twitter and on Instagram so many things and you see moms shaming other moms on doing this this way and doing this that way and at the end of the day we all just need to really realize that we're each other's support system. Nobody knows how to be a mom like a mom, you know? And we all go through different times in being a mom. Having your first kid and then having your second child and being a mom of two children and then being mom of three or four. And it's always different. The first time around is always different than the second and then the third. And you may be a mom of three children and I may be a mom of just Adeline and she's an infant baby and everybody tells me you do this and you got to do this and this and that and it's like I I want to learn I want to learn by myself sometimes and I want to be able to teach myself and I and we may have different beliefs every mom may have different beliefs and may believe well I do things this way and I do things that way and but 
at the end of the day, being a mom, I, I don't, you might hate me for this, but I don't really think there's a right or wrong way to do anything. I think that nobody knows their baby like their, the mom. Nobody knows what works for their baby and what might not work for their baby. My sister said that her little boys are both swaddled. Adeline cannot stand the swaddle. She will kick and scream and kick and scream until you get her out of it. I've tried for 30 minutes at a time and she would not stop. I took her out of the swaddle and she knocked out. And it's like she just can't stand being bound down like that. She hates it. Um, some babies are better than others. Maybe I should have started her earlier on it, but she was so little and she didn't fit in a swaddle. And so <laughs> I'd have her like, and she'd be out of it one way. So I was like, all right, well, we'll wait till she's older. And now she's older and it's like, well, I guess the swaddles are out the window, <laughs> but I mean, there's no reason to shame each other. We're, we're a unit and we're a team and we should be uplifting each other and giving each other praise and don't ever feel like you're being mom shamed because you're doing everything the way that you should be. And you're raising your child exactly how you know how to raise your child and we're all learning and growing with our children as they learn and grow. I had great examples of moms in my life. I had my stepmom Darcy, I had my aunt Christina and I had my grandma, and my great grandma Lore. They were just such great examples. Oh my god, I just won 20 versus 20 by myself, Audra. God. No. Definition of a god. No. Sorry. Adeline is two months old. I asked for certain things in a baby and I asked for certain looks from me, traits from me, traits from Will. And um, I feel like God really did give me a good mix. He did. I don't know. Being a mom for two months, I've learned a lot about myself. And I've come to remember the woman that I wanted to be when I was younger. And who I lost for a little while. Um, I just wanted to be little forever. Her doctor's appointment is on Monday, so that's when I'll kind of update you guys on her weight and her growth and I'll let you guys know what she's doing and how she's doing and pray for me for Monday because she has shots, two shots and the first time she had shots on her one month, I literally cried, so guys, pray for me but I love you guys and thank you so much for following me through this journey I really don't know what I would do without you guys. You guys are my other support system and help me remember what being a mom is for. And I love you guys. I love how loving and caring you guys are for her and you don't even know her or know us and anything like that, but it's, it's amazing. And I thank you guys. Thanks for joining us on this two months and joining us for another month and months to come. Love you guys. Mm -hmm.